I play, I play was peso, and probably related to pedi, you know, the word for child, as the S sound in peso and pedi is both written like AI, so they may be related. Peso, I play. Peso. He plays or she plays? Pezi. Pezi. How would you say he was playing, she was playing? Epeze. Epeze, very good. We had an E on the beginning note to be able to pull the accent back. And we also have an E on the end, which is for he, she and it. Epeze. She was just playing. She was only playing. Mono epeze. Mono epeze. Epeze mono. Good. She was just playing by herself. Mono epeze monitis. Good. Mono epeze monitis. Good. She was playing with her friend. Let's say a masculine friend. She was playing with her friend. Epeze metonphilotis. Very good. Epeze metonphilotis. Were you playing? Epezes. Epezes. Very good. Did you play? So not were you playing, but did you play? So what is the closed version of peso? Pexo. Pexo. Good. So did you play? Epexes. Epexes. Very good. Did they play? Pexane. Pexane. Good. Or? Epexan. Epexan. So we have a big difference there, no? Between Pexane and Epexan. But they both mean the same. Have they played? Echone Pezi. Pezi? Echone Pexi. Good. So to form this half past, we always use the closed version of the verb now. Echune, echun, pexi. Good. So these are our three principal ways of talking about the past. I was playing, epeza, I played, epexa, I have played, echo, pexi. Just like in English. I do. What is I do or I make? Kano. Kano. I did it, I was doing it. To ekana. To ekana. So this is I did it or I was doing it because we have no closed version for kano, so it's the same, ekana. I have done it. To echo kani. To echo kani. Good. You did. You did it. To ekanes. To ekanes. Good. What did you do? Ti ekanes. Ti ekanes. What was the word for well? Like I'm well. Kala. Kala. How would you say well you did? Bear with me. Ekanes kala. So ah. well you did. Kala ekanes. Kala ekanes. And this is an expression in Greek like well done, no? Kala ekanes. Well you did. Kala ekanes. Well done. So uh, remind me what was it is necessary? Prepina. Prepi. Prepina. Good. How would we say it was necessary? Eprepe. Eprepe. Good. Eprepe. So eprepe we can use to say things like I had to buy it. It was necessary. Na, I buy it. It was necessary to buy it. So how would that be? Eprepe na to agorazo. Good. I like how you didn't go into the past again. That was correct. No, because it's it was necessary. Now I buy it or it was necessary to buy it. So we don't go into the past again, but we we have the verb after na. So we definitely need to decide if we want the closed or the open form. So I had to buy it. We could have either really depending on the context. E prepenato agorazo. This maybe means like over a long period, you know, it was necessary that I buy it. But most common would be Eprepe nato agoraso. Good. Eprepe nato agoraso. So we don't put both in the past, no? It was necessary, na I buy it. I mentioned the word for perfect before. Telio, telio. Telio. And teliono, I finished. Teliono. Teliono. I had to finish it. What is the closed version of teliono? Telioso. Telioso. Very good. End to S there. Telioso. I had to finish it. E prepe nato telioso. E prepe nato telioso. Very good. I was waiting for it to finish. So I was waiting is the first bit. Perimena. 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 Good. For it to finish. So perimena na. Na teliosi. Na teliosi. 
good. So again, we just have to think about whether we want the open or the closed form. We don't go into the past again. Perimena, I was waiting for it to finish. Na teliosi. Or we could also say yana teliosi. Perimena yana teliosi. Perimena na teliosi. How would you say I was waiting for him or her to finish it? Perimena, per, perimena na to teliosi. Perimena na to teliosi. Very good. I was waiting for him or her to finish it. And you could also say, to clarify, ton perimena na to teliosi. I was waiting for him to finish it. Or tin perimena na to teliosi. So you could say that as well. If we say prepina, it finished. So prepi in the present and then the verb, the following verb in the past, then we get a very different meaning. We get it must have finished. It must have finished. So if you say prepi na, it finished in the past, how would that be? Prepi na teliose. Prepi na teliose. Good. So this would be it must have finished. It must have been finishing, giving an open feeling. Prepina te lione. Prepina Very good. What was I change? Alazo. Alazo. And the closed version? Alaxo. Alaxo. They have to change it. Prepina to alaxune. Prepina to alaxun. Prepina to alaxune. They had to change it. It was necessary to change it. Eprepe nato alaxone. Very good. Eprepe nato alaxun. Eprepe nato alaxune. They must have changed it. So for they must have changed it, we will say prepi in the present and then they changed it in the past. So they must have changed it. Prepi nato alaxun. Alaxun. Prepi nato alaxan. Good. Prepi nato alaxan. Prepi nato alaxane. So with prepi in the present and then the following verb in the past, we get the meaning of must have. It must have changed. Prepi na alaxe. Very good. Prepi na alaxe. Very good.